at Ryerson University, we aim to be inclusive to everyone who attends or visits the school. The pod is one of the key features here at campus, and it includes lecture halls and also a cafeteria and service hub where students can address any problems they have on campus. In this video, we will be examining accessibility problems and any possible solutions to these problems. One of the first accessibility issues is entering the podium. We notice there is no direct exterior entrance that is fully accessible to the pod. One can enter from the south through the library, which is connected to the Student Learning Center, from the east through the Sky Bridge of Kerr Hall, or from the north through Jorgensen Hall. Entering through Victoria Street, there are only two ramps on the exterior. One is located on the side of the library building, and the other in front of Jorgensen Hall. However, both of these ramps do not connect directly to the pod, and one has a very sharp turn. There are four staircases along Victoria Street. One has a column directly in front, and the railings are not perpendicular to the steps. The other three leads towards different platforms with corresponding entrances, but none of them have automatic doors and are only accessible with a student car. A possible solution would be utilizing the empty space beside the staircases and install ramp systems. Other accessibility issues noted are the lack of braille on classroom and service signs. There are two types of lecture rooms. One is flat and accessible, while the other has levels that limit the seating choices of those in wheelchair. The washrooms do not have clear directions. An example is the woman washroom on the third floor. It is not accessible due to, due to the lack of an automatic door, wheelchair stall, and it is a very tight space. Many of the lounge seats on different floors are fixed and are not wheelchair accessible. Lastly, the frequently visited service hub also contains accessibility issues. An example is the glare from the self-service center, which could possibly confuse those with vision difficulties. In conclusion, although the pod has gone through many renovations to be accessible to everyone, there are still many accessibility concerns that need to be addressed.